So when it comes to binary numbers, uh, two terms that you're going to hear thrown around quite a bit is most significant bit and least significant bit, uh, also referred to as MSB or LSB, though nobody really refers it to that. They usually just call it most significant and least significant bit. But it's useful to know what exactly these are. An example that my instructor used when I was in college to explain these concepts is actually sort of a bank account example. So imagine for a moment you have a bank account with $7,962 in it. The number is totally arbitrary, but just for argument's sake, we're going to make it a rather large number. Uh, but if, let's say I was to pick one of these digits here and I was re going to reduce them by one, uh, if I was to reduce the the leftmost digit, this 7 here, to a 6, and I asked you, how angry are you about this? Well, you just lost $1,000, so you'd be pretty angry. Uh, but if I were to reduce this third digit here, say the 9, to an 8, how angry, how, how angry would you be about this? Well, you just lost 100 bucks. You wouldn't be devastated, but you'd still be a little peeved. You probably wouldn't talk to me for a week or two. Uh, if I were to reduce this digit here, this uh, the second digit, from a 6 to a 5. Uh, I, if I were to ask you how angry would you be at me, well, you probably lost a couple mornings worth of coffee, but otherwise it's really not that big of a deal. That's something you'd probably eat pretty well. Uh, and let's say I were to reduce this 2 to a 1, how mad would you be at me? You probably wouldn't even notice. It's $1. Uh, unless, you know, you're eating ramen, it's really not that big of a deal for you. So if I were to affect this absolute leftmost digit here, uh, it would actually affect you the most. Uh, and if I were to affect this rightmost digit here, it would actually affect you the least. So this affects you the most, this affects you the least. So we call this digit the most significant digit because it significantly affects you the most. And we call this the least significant digit because it, well, significantly affects you the least. Now translating this into binary, if you actually think back to uh, how we represent binary numbers. It's very similar to how we represent actual numbers. Uh, each one of these numbers has a weight with the weight getting larger and larger as we move to the left. Uh, it's just instead of multiplicands of, of 10, we're getting multiplicands of 2. So this has a weight of 2, weight of 4, weight of 8, weight of 16, so on and so forth. Uh, but again, the very similar principle, because this has, uh, because this digit here has the largest weight, uh, if I were to change this in any way, it would actually affect the value of the number by plus or minus 128. Uh, but if I were to affect this digit, uh, it only affects the number by 1. So we call this digit right here the most significant bit, and this one is the least significant bit. And that is what most significant and least significant bits are. So from this point on, you're going to hear those terms thrown around a lot. Anytime you hear somebody say most significant and least significant bit, uh, most significant bit is going to be the bit with the greatest weight, and the least significant bit is going to be the bit with the least weight. Usually this is one, but when we get into floating point, it can be less than one.